Hey everyone, this is Layla from Greenhouse Animals, and in today's video, I will be showing you how I clean out my hedgehog's cage. So my hedgehog lives on top of the table in the bunny room, and it's actually pretty safe because I have it secured to where she can't get out. And you may be wondering, like, where did you get the hedgehog from? So I actually got the hedgehog from one of my friends from church who actually didn't want her anymore because she couldn't take care of her. And so she gave her to me, and so I've been taking care of her for a while. Her name used to be Rosie, but I changed it to Pepperoni because I feel like it better suits her. And I don't know why she's not really moving around today. She's just really tired. She's usually up and about and then sometimes she'll just have her little moments where she doesn't really want to move around so this is her cage she, i put a blanket down for the time being because i had a new heating pad and i didn't really know how she was gonna handle with it so here she is she's just sleeping i don't really know she's just like not wanting to get up but i have her a little heating pad that she uses that she really likes it's really good for when she's it's super cold outside because it helps her not hibernate and I'll have to make a video on that because she really likes to hibernate sometimes. And I'll have to go through my process of what I do. So the litter box that I use for her, she's just like my bunny. She has a litter box. I know, hedgehog with a litter box sounds kind of crazy. I actually cut a pizza box open and just used the bottom of that. And I put a little pee pad in the bottom and then cover that with litter. So every time she poops and pees, it's all secure in there. And I don't really have to worry about it getting anywhere else. So I have this mat. It's really stiff. It's like a big carpet. That really like goes on the edge of the table so that she can't get out and then on the other side of me there is like a little that i'm wiping off right now this little plastic area that's part of the little cage that she has but i keep it over by her food and her litter box so if she ever makes a mess or has an accident it's really easy to get up and it's not on the carpet she she really likes her little place i don't really see her out too often because she is nocturnal and it's really hard to spot her playing on the wheel but i know she's been playing on the wheel because her wheel's always covered in poop which is outside right now getting washed because I just, I leave it and I soak it in water for a minute and then I'll come back and get it and it'll be all clean and I just have to scrub it down a little bit. Not only is the litter box on the plastic mat, she also has her food over there because she likes to get her food really messy. It's, it's pretty crazy. She'll just fling it all over the place. So yeah. And then for the litter box, the pee pad, I have to fit it really nicely in there because sometimes she'll try and dig underneath it. So I have to make sure that it's nice and snug in there. So I have this window right here that provides most of the light for her. But at nighttime, I'll close that and it'll make her feel a little more comfortable and then she'll come out. So yeah, that's really nice about having that there. So the litter that I use for her is actually wood stall pellets. And I use the same litter for my rabbits. They seem to really like it and it really soaks up all of the pee and poop. So I don't really have to worry about a bad smell. I have these big curtains that I push to the side that go behind the little cage right here and that just helps me see out really well and so her favorite things to snuggle with are her great is the gray towel and that pink blanket and then she has that heating pad and she'll just ball up real nice in there and that's where she lives so I'm picking her up right now she's pretty she's pretty pokey and she's not all the way comfortable with me picking her up yet and she's really tired and sleepy today because I woke her up right in the middle of her nap time so she was not happy with me today. But I also have all these big plants that I put up in my window. Uh, I think the one in the green thing, I rescued that from school. It was just left on the gym. It was just like in a cup. So that's, um, that's a bean plant, I think. And then I have all these little terrariums that I'm building up in the window. I'll have a bunch of those up there eventually. It'll look really cool. So yeah, I'll just put the cage back together. It's really simple. I just snap it back into place. One of them's bent because somebody fell on top of it, which I'm not going to go into that story. But yeah, so I just fold it all back together and it's pretty much done. It's just real clean now and she'll be happier running around in there because it's a lot cleaner. With this being in the bunny room, it seems to accumulate a lot of dust. So right here, I'm just wiping off the dust on this main little piece right here because none of the rest of it really had dust on it, but it just gets pretty dirty, especially being with the hedgehog. Hedgehogs are not clean animals, so it's just got it just got really dirty really fast. So I put her food back in there. I put, decided to put the bowl somewhere different today. So yeah, she has, a, she has a pretty nice little area to run around up here. This is pretty big for a hedgehog. It does not have to be this big. This is just what worked best for me in my situation with five bunnies in a room with a hedgehog. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you come back for my new videos. I'm going to have a bunch of new ones being posted pretty soon. So thank you guys so much. Bye.